according to the scripture. And the word according to the scripture is not always comfortable. It can be convicting. It can be life changing. But it knows how to comfort you even when you are convicted. And that is what the apostle is saying as you go through the text and he keeps on going as he talks about do not quench the spirit and don't let anybody quench your spirit calling you not to do what God has called you to do. Understand if God has a calling on your life, God will convict you of the calling on your life. You don't need anybody else to tell you what the calling is. You just need the Lord to convict you of the calling and that you be cognizant enough of the conviction. Too many people have been called to preach by everybody else other than God because you get off because you because you come out of the club and you come to Sunday school and you feel a quickening of the spirit because you read a couple of verses and you were able to memorize them and you show up to six Sunday school classes 12 worship classes and you show up to 12 worship experience and you show up to eight Bible studies and then somebody say you know what you you you've been called to preach and I say you've been called to keep studying and become more convicted of your walk with God. Why does everybody, we equate change to preaching? Everybody that, everybody that comes out of the world, they don't, you know, I, I don't be called to preach. It's so much more work to do. Matter of fact, I wasn't in the club. I was 16 years old. So I can't say, oh, I was that. You know, no, I, 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 at nine years old, I told my dad, I think I've been called to preach this son. You need to go pray. 16, I went back to daddy. I've been called to preach this son. You need to go pray. I said, I, I can't go. I said, because what this is, I can't get rid of it. He says, son, you need to go pray. I said, daddy, I can't go because I know this is what God has called me to do. He said, I'll tell you what. He said, I want you to pray. He said, and I'll tell you what, I'll give you an appointment to preach. But, but I knew that he didn't have to tell me that I had been called to preach. I didn't need anybody across town to come into town with a $25 rag and a cloth and some oil and some water shaking at me, telling me, this, this, I, 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 you, you got, a, a, you, you are pregnant with something. I'm now not. I'm not pregnant. I just need to go to the gym. Stop telling people you're pregnant with something. You're pregnant with something. You're pregnant. So, see, listen to all of the stuff, the jargon of the day. People will say all of that stuff, and you good in your car riding home. I've been thinking about that. When God has convicted you of the calling on your life, you don't have to go anywhere. You can be right in your house, and that conviction can be so heavy, you'll be trying to run all the way, but you can't get away from what God has for your life. Stop letting people determine what God has not designed your life to be.